Look guys, uh, regarding course work number two. All right, we have here a simply supported beam. All right, under distrib distributed load uh, Q, the beam length is L. And here is the cross section area of the beam. You can easily calculate the centroid location like we usually do by just sub, uh, the rule of summation a y i divided by summation of a like we did in a couple of tutorials and a couple of coursework problems all right now finding the maximum bending moment in this case what will you do exactly all you have to do find the reactions at support a and support b which you can find equal to q l over 2 using the newton uh, very slow then later on as usual and we did we did also in a couple of tutorials to calculate the internal bending moment by making the cut from the right hand side apply newton very slow and once you drive an equation for m you will find that the maximum bending moment applied on this beam is q l square over eight all right then you have you were given as a mechanical designer you were given two numbers all right one for maximum compression and another one for maximum tension these numbers are the maximum that can the material can stand before before failure all right and the only equation we have tells you what we have sigma equals to m x y over i x x okay so from these two numbers all right i will arrive at two numbers for m one safe for compression and another one safe for tension all right so which one from these two numbers i need to choose to to substitute in the equation ql over 2 equal to m so i can calculate the q all right it's just very simple answer if for example this one is 10 and this one is 15 i have to choose the safest one the lowest m because if it's 15 if maximum is if is 15 then that means it's not safe for the compression right so if i choose 15 as my maximum m and use it to calculate the q this will lead the, ma the, the safe internal bending moment for compression is 15 so 15 is higher than 10 which means the the top part of the beam which is under compression will fail so for you to make sure as a designer that your structure will be safe you want to make sure q all right will make sure q will be satisfy the maximum bending moment is 10 so what happens if you choose q and the internal bending maximum internal bending moment became 10 now the compression is safe and how about this one 10 is less than 15 so also tension will be safe so now the top half is safe and the bottom is safe 